I thought it'd be super cool today to talk about some of the bows behind me. All of these bows I have made, a lot of them are on YouTube, but not all of them. And there's a few things I wanna cover. I wanna cover which kind of design I've found that I like to shoot the most, at least right now. Also, some of the things I've learned while building these and just also show you the progression of where we were and where we are now. So, let's grab the first bow. This bow right here is actually attributed to my most viewed video. This bow was titled the $15 board bow build. I made it out of poplar with fiberglass um, tape bow backing. And one of the interesting things about this sort of bow is you might get some stacking on the inside if your wood's too soft. And as you know, poplar is an extremely soft wood and that's why there's some stacking there. And a ton of people have made a bow from this, this sort of style and it's a great way to get into it. Hey, this is the next one. I made this as a follow-up um, to answer some of the questions to that one. And it's another option here. This one is oak and this one is rawhide. I've shot this one recently. I think I did a video a couple months ago on the Kramer Ammons YouTube channel. And it was comparing three bows, um, I said a year later, up to two years later actually with some of them. And I went out and shot this one comparatively and it still, it still performs really well. But something to note is set will happen or string follow. And what that is, is you can see how the limb is bent that way. It's kind of, from shooting it over and over again, it's kind of now remembers that, and it's not as straight. So that's why sometimes you wanna put a reflex in the limb early on before you start shooting it so that when it comes back a little bit, it's not all the way going that way. It's not a bad thing. It just reduces a little bit of speed in your bow. Um, but besides that, some people think it shoots smoother that way. All right, this one was a fun one. This is uh, from a palette and a necktie. This was one of the first Will It Bow series videos ever. And it's one of the few Will It Bow materials I still have going for me. Now this was pine, I believe, uh, with like a silk necktie. And if I've learned anything, the backing tends to matter more than the, the, the belly wood or there's more belly wood that'll work than there are backings. So the backings tends to be the failure point. Oh boy. This is the first successful bow I ever made 12 years ago, I think. So this is an Osage Orange bow covered in rasp marks, but this one's pretty nostalgic. I haven't shot this one in, in years. <laughs> That's awesome. This is the heaviest poundage bow I've ever made. This thing is just a beast. 100 pound draw weight um, at 28 inches. And I haven't shot it since the video. I can't get it back yet. I'm working on it, I'll get there. But this thing is, is a beast. I'll have to revisit this bow when I can get it to full draw. This bow is pretty cool to me. The Osage right here has been through three different bows, if that makes sense. So I built an original um, sinew-backed recurved bow with it. I didn't do a good job on the glue-up, so the sinew came off of that Osage, but I still had the good Osage piece. So from that, I brought it to one perfect growth ring, and I made um, more of a long bow out of it after reshaping the tips a little bit and that sort of thing. And then I actually um, went hunting with that bow. I think I got a deer with that bow in um, on, on this channel in a video. Uh, but from there, I ended up building, turning that Osage piece into the third version of the bow, which is this reflexed bamboo backed Osage bow. This one was really fun. I built this bow in a video that I made with just music. And uh, the video took off, it did really well. And it was a really fun bow to build. Um, and it performs fantastically. I really like it. I did some horn tips on it. Um, this sort of bow is one of my favorites to do with just a plain bamboo backing. This one's deep in the uh, deep on the YouTube channel. Um, this is a sinew back bow I built when I was first starting the YouTube channel. I, I wouldn't like to watch the video. I'm sure it would make me cringe to watch it, but using the different materials gives me more experience and helped me understand what I like 
and what I don't like. I have plywood here on the handle. This is just such a good reminder because like I was trying to make a business out of the YouTube channel. I was driving like Uber Eats um, to supplement income as I was trying to build the channel. And so I couldn't spend any money on materials or tools or anything. So I used plywood on the handle because it's what I had in the shop. Um, super cool to remember that. This bow right here, I think, I'm not sure if I made this one on YouTube or not, but there's a uh, Ipe with a bamboo backing. Now, if you're interested, bamboo backings I love. I actually prefer Osage on the belly rather than the Ipe. It's just more forgiving and um, the speed of it's a little bit slower, but it's way more comfortable and that's what I prefer. So slightly reflexed, but a fantastic bow. With the bamboo backing, it allows you to do really thin tips, which increases speed a lot. This isn't the one I did, but that was over 200 feet per second. But this style of bow, I've, I've got, I think, 208 feet per second out of. Uh, it's a great bow, but I do prefer Osage more than this one. This bow's got some stories to it. This is the duct tape bow, so to speak. I used the duct tape backing to see if that would work because I had a splinter lifting in a willow bow video. Um, the handle is just super cool. I really like the handle here. And something interesting about this bow is it is the first bow I ever did any hunting with. This is the bow I got my first deer with that wasn't from a compound bow. My first traditional archery bow deer. So that was really cool. I wonder if this one would still shoot. I haven't put a string on it since that, since that video uh, a couple years ago. All right, these ones were getting very recent. This is a fiberglass bamboo Osage bow. Uh, just don't tell anybody I'm doing that because it's kind of a secret. Not really, but <laughs> it's a good combination. I'm, I'm pretty pumped about this. Um, more on that later. This one, I, didn't, I, had, I had a few gaps right here and right here. The form wasn't good enough, so I didn't even finish this bow out. Maybe I should because um, I filled the gaps with some sawdust and some glue. It, it, it'd function. It would do fine. I was just trying to build a hunting bow for elk hunting this year, and it wasn't as good as I wanted it to be, so I never finished it. All right, this one right here, I think I made this one on the YouTube channel. I forget. Is this the light one? Yeah, I think this is the the 15 pound bow. I think I built this one on the YouTube channel. I think I did this one in like silence. It's a really long video, but I, I, I show a lot of the process. But this was, I think my first successful fiberglass bow. Here's another fiberglass one, basically the same design, but um, I think I was trying to figure out the poundage. Yeah, this one's really light as well on the poundage. Here's a couple more glass bows I built. This one, this one's pretty good. Yeah, this one's like a 35 pound bow. Uh, it was really fun. This design is what I'm liking. It's kind of a, it's a hybrid. It's a pretty much a hybrid. Um, sort of bow, but let me show you this next one. I'm starting to get really excited about this style of bow. So I'm using a lot of this Osage to build bows and um, I was able to cut down a lot of it recently, but I'm using the worst pieces and there's like this knot here and it's actually really comfortable. I don't know, I just like that little feature. Um, on top of that, it was really fun testing out. There's these dysfunctions in the wood, you could say. The wood was actually split. I super glued the Osage back together and then laminated over top of it. And it looks really cool. And it functionally works really good. My one problem with this one is my air hose that I, that I blow with compressed air in order to compress the laminations really tight, the air hose leaked. And uh, then I didn't get a good glue up here. So the, the fiberglass started to separate from the wood and I kind of had to retire this bow. It still was shooting, but um, I'd be at full draw and I'd hear and I'd hear the, the, the lamination start to come off. So I set it aside and I'll show you the next bow I built. And this is the most recent bow I built. This is, uh, this is my hunting bow this year and it's the same hybrid design. Um, Osage bamboo glass, 30 thousandths of an inch glass. Um, which is pretty thin, pretty thin for glass. So I'm gonna test some thicker glass out here soon to see the difference in the speed and, and I know it would be more durable, but this bow right here is uh, pretty amazing. I'm, I'm really liking it. I ran the mountains for 
uh, a week with it and it's holding up great. Shot it a lot. So this is kind of my favorite design right now. Another one that I built off camera um, to kind of get to our goals of being able to sell them. So this is kind of the, the first official prototype you could say. I'm making five more of these I, uh, on Patreon. There's the platinum level and each, each person on the platinum level gets one of these. That level sold out right now, but if a spot comes open, someone could jump in there, but they're all gonna get one of these to test out so I can have this test group of people to see their feedback because I can make what I like, but things will change depending on um, people's preferences. So it'd be awesome to see what they think. So I'm pretty pumped about that, uh, but this is like the earliest version of the Shatterproof Bow and um, this is where we're going. So you can see, uh, look at the progression, right? I mean, <laughs> when I built this, I remember starting to build bows and thinking to myself, one day if I could sell bows, that'd be amazing. And um, I'm getting closer. So 12 years in, I'm getting closer and I'm pretty excited about it. So I hope you've enjoyed seeing the bows of the past. I've had a blast making them. There's a lot to come in the future. Uh, if you like archery, this is where to be. If you like bow making specifically, uh, the Kramer Raymond's YouTube channel has a lot more bow making content, so you can check that out as well. With all that being said, stay shatterproof. I'm for you. I'll see you on the next video.